What a night we expect it to be. We are live at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's Roy Jones Jr. RJJ is 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 74 inches. And in the other corner, it's the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. He's six foot two inches tall, 181 pounds, one of the best right hands in the business. One has the height, one has the reach. Then when you've got a fight like that, you've got to get cold and personal. Drag him into your kind of fight, stick to that chest. If you don't, you're gonna get popped off. You need to get guided around the ring and then shot at a distance. It's the incomparable Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship of the world. The Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. His fight against Matt Schmeling, one of the most important fights in the history of this fine sport. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. The crowd is ready, I'm ready, and here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Pensacola, Florida. Here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Fighting out of the blue corner, an iconic longtime world champion who defended his title for a record of 12 years, introducing a heavyweight champion of the world, the one and only Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. Todd, I love this place. The atmosphere is second to none. If you get the right fights, you've got fun all night. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? They score again with the left hand. relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter punch, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react them. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches, they're watching, they're watching something move.
The referee calling for seconds out, right back in the action. Here we go, it's round two. an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. He misses with that jam. division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. A couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. We're going to have it, Simon. We're going to have drama because when these guys slow down, that's on the point of this one. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Trying to answer back. High punch. You hear people talk about it, and he's being smothered here in the clinch and can't get his shots off. being thrown to the wind. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. So important. The referee's trying to do his fight right. He's trying to judge his right. He's trying to do his job right. My brain can't say this pain, maintain. Old flame, kind of lame. I switch lanes, maintain. I need racks right now. It's coming later. Maintain. Got moves. Quiet down. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back in the action. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? defensive for a minute if they want to. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Oh, and Joe Lewis is hurt. He is hurt. The Hall of Famer Joe Lewis is down.
big difference between being the aggressor and the final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his. One of the all-time greats, Joe Lewis, is down. But when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the equalizer. calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. Then there's the bell for round five. for these two fighters. Hold everything! He caught him, please! Takes it 
Ayatollah's finest is down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me touch it. But I can't touch it now. Go by the sun. He's going to touch it. They want to touch it. How can I like it? No. Place them. You think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Here we go in the sixth round. It just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. What a massive upset this would be. It somehow weathered the storm. Oh, Joe Lewis just got caught. Time breaks, Joe Lewis is down.